Hey, what's going on guys? Jake here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing my tech bag, my 2020 tech bag. Thumbnail. Yeah, that's not the thumbnail. Okay, so first off, let me just start off by saying that this is my first year actually having any like good tech, so bear with me, I do not have a lot of stuff. Hopefully next year I'm planning on making another uh, What's in My Bag Tech Review 2021 video, and I'll hopefully have more tech by then, but stay tuned for that video, of course. But yeah, starting off with number one, we have here, this is a pretty obvious one, this is my AirPods Pro. I got these this past January, they came out in November, I'm pretty sure. Um, I did have this case on it, it's a nice modern looking case and it does have I got this inside stuff too it's kind of peeling off a little bit as you can see up there and then if I take one of these you can see back there it's kind of peeled off but it was it was eight dollars but it's supposed to help with like scratches and stuff like that against keys and everything the only problem is it's hard to charge on my charger I'm not talking about a standard iPhone charger you can easily charge it with that right here but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about later in the video, so keep in mind. Next, we have a quite obvious one that a lot of people have in their tech bags, and that is a pocket knife. You always want to have a pocket knife for safety. You never know if you're going to be in a shady location or not. You just want to be protected at all times. Uh, I'm not saying uh, go out and kill everybody. Next in my bag, I have this tripod. This is um, my camera tripod. I got it originally for my phone, so obviously I got it during quarantine when I didn't have a camera. I only had my phone and I was still making videos on my phone. But now that I have a camera, I have been using it for my camera. It is, it doesn't get up to, I think it gets up to like four feet tall or something like that. It's not the tallest thing in the world. And my only negative thing about this is that it's really uneven. So if you put your camera on top of here, it will be like lopsided and you'll have to like adjust one of the legs so two of them will have to be a little bit longer obviously not this much longer that's kind of been exaggerating a little bit and then the third one would have to be shorter which is my only downside but it still works once you figure out how to use it and everything I haven't really been using this lately for videos and stuff because most of the places I am it has like higher up platforms so I can just use the tripod that I'm using now which is really nice I always use that for vlogging too because it's small compact compared to this thing imagine trying to bring in this vlogging places you know like what's up <laughs> it doesn't really work out the best next is an iPhone charger or iPad charger I guess I usually like to have an extra charger just in case you know it might you might uh, have your phone die and that's never good when your phone's dead and you don't know where you are at all times and just, you know. It's always good to have an extra charger on you, uh, depending on if official Apple or not, whatever, as long as it, you know, works for your phone. Now this next thing is what I was talking about earlier with my AirPods. So, I recently got this um, off of Amazon. It was like $30 or something and I use it every night. It stands right next to my bed and this little thing props up you can have different positions for it to stand and everything, which is really cool. And it's a wireless charger for your phone, which is really nice. And then another thing that props up is an Apple Watch charger. Sometimes it's hard to actually prop it up, so I have to take my pocket knife or even something else to just like get it loose. And then you can prop it up and you can set it in different positions as well. So that's pretty cool. It's supposed to be a three-in-one charging station. So then back here it has AirPods and everything. Okay, sorry about that. My camera battery died and I had to get a new one. But as I was saying, this little thing is for your AirPods and they're supposed to just sit right in there like so and charge and everything. But this case is too big. So when you put it on, kind of show you. You see all that extra room? It might be hard to see. There's a lot of extra, it's not focusing on it, it's focusing on me. There's a lot of extra room so it won't charge, so I have to charge it by a iPhone charger, which is kind of annoying. Next we have my Nintendo Switch. I always have it in a case, and I just like to carry it around when I travel and stuff. It's always in there snug. 
Uh, it's the Nintendo Switch Lite. It's really light, compact, and easy to carry around. So if you want to do games on the go, you know, Nintendo Switch is the way to go. Didn't mean for that to rhyme. And finally, we have my laptop. The Beast itself, my MacBook Pro 13-inch 2020. It's what I use to edit my videos on. I lay in bed and I grind on video editing. I know this doesn't look like a laptop, but this is the laptop case that I have, and here's the actual laptop. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I um, have been wanting a Mac for so long, and this year I finally was able to get one. I think it was June. I did a review on it, so if you haven't seen that review, go look at my channel. I'll leave it linked down below to the review for my MacBook Pro. I'll also leave a review for my Canon camera, Canon G7X. I did a review on that camera. So go check out those reviews if you haven't already. And now this bad guy right here, I got this when I was on my Kentucky trip. I did a couple vlogs when I was in Kentucky. So go check those vlogs out. This is basically a camera case. I fit my camera in the little tripod in here. See my camera slit, flit, <laughs> my camera fits right in that back slot right there. And then the tripod goes in the center. And I also have extra SD cards in here. And then I carry my charger and the other batteries on the sides here which I only have one other battery and this is the one that's dead and I haven't plugged it in yet but you know it's fine you know bag itself this was I believe $70 I got it at Walmart I was wa wanting to order one off of Amazon because Amazon has better quality uh, no offense Walmart I ended up getting it because it was last minute and I was going to it was right before I went to Kentucky and I needed a bag to carry everything so I just got this. That's why there's this white thing that's for my tag. I'm just too lazy to take it off. But yeah, my, my computer fits right back here real nice in the back. And this whole space is open which is really nice. It's accessible through the back so when you're wearing it on your back, you know, you won't have uh, all the people trying to get into it because you can't get into it from the front. And I like how open it is because with everything that I have, you can easily slide it all in there. Now you can see I fit everything in here just fine. It doesn't look the neatest, but that's okay. Everything is mostly cloth anyway, or it's protected besides the tripod. So it doesn't really need to be all organized anyways. And it does have pockets in the front as well. It's got this one right here where you can, you know, nice little pocket. And then it's got another one up here and then it's got this little thing where you can like put in your ID if you wanted to or I don't know stuff like that in case it gets lost then people can return it to you if they're nice. But yeah that is it for this video if you guys have enjoyed make sure to hit that like button down below subscribe for more videos comment down below any more video ideas that you have for me I am trying to vlog more I am actually working on a vlog right now.